Uh, hello. I took a long nap. It was a long day. Um, I ended up like was taking the bus, and I never took the bus all the way around that way. I usually took the bus the other way. Had to do some walk. Ended up walking 45 minutes. I was supposed to not walk at all, but it's better than you know walking three hours. <laughs> but I noticed they have like they had a uh, a uh, 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 was one I guess like uh, the. <laughs> Why, I see why they don't have any money um, for their retirement or for their health insurance because of the investigative police here in Memphis. She had a gun sitting right here on the side, a little, little skinny sort off thing, and um, no muscles to look like. Probably the type that works out a lot, but she doesn't have, like, I don't know, like muscles. You know, she don't have muscles. <laughs> Which I'm old, so I'm losing a lot of muscle. And plus, the shirt does. But you, got, you know what I mean? She doesn't have this. It's got to be hard. <laughs> anyway, like, well, and the leg, too. Uh, like, it's not that hard, but anyway. Like, it's retired. But she doesn't have any of that tone. She's not developed. Like, and she doesn't have the, the, the you know. And, um, so she just. Anyway, and I was like, and I, I guess she was like, it, so I moved like away from her and I guess that sort of like you know set them off that's like that put my my antenna up like a police person because they're very hostile to you know all the time <laughs> so I got like so she looked at me and I was like say something to me and I was like yeah yeah I'm like you're allowed to carry <laughs> those guns like that yes yes if you have a license I'm like oh, okay and she was stepping off the bus. I'm like, you never thought anybody might kick you off the side of your motherfucker head and take that from you? <laughs> I was feeling an honorary. Like, <laughs> the, gun, the, the gun was so big on her. And, 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 you know, it was definitely like a police gun. I am like, I was like, this is why they don't have any fucking money for the city. Because they're ignorant. You know, really? Uh, like, you've been following me, like, for four years. Every time I go to the store, that and that and and trust me, you don't feel safe with them. You feel like they're bullying you. You know, you feel like like you back in elementary fucking elementary school, like in fucking kindergarten or I don't know, maybe first grade type of you know type of shit. Sick, you know. We have to retrain. I mean, they chose to do that job. They went to training. They chose to do that job. Like in Baltimore now, right? They're talking about they're not doing policing, you know. So, like, they make a big announcement they're not doing policemen. But the crime rate is going to be high anyway. The crime rate was high before. You know, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? If Americans are killing Americans, they trying to, like, in Fox News, Fox News is geared for this racist South. Uh, and for uh, people that really bought into the whole thing of, you know, um, African American, you know, <laughs> for their new name, for the for who we are, <laughs> you know, Fox News, Fox News is so uh, 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 proud of being <laughs> racist. They're like, what are we gonna do? Okay, you know why the, why they have a high crime rate? Because we're in a capitalist society, and people that got uh, no education, and you can blame it like, oh well, like the the areas um, declined. It's like Detroit when they started off was very nice, had plenty of money. Till they sent all, you know, black people started making too much money. So, you know, so then when, the, so what happened with Detroit? The first thing they did was just uh, fuck them out of their education. Then they fucked them out of their job. I shouldn't say that word. The first they did, you know, they did, you know, and I went to public school, so, and there is, there is racism. And sometimes the worst thing that you could have is like another black person trying to judge you on how they was raised. You know, like, um, like I like I remember like like the like the kids from Russia was acting like they would like act black and that was like their way of like really like becoming American. I got fested with um oh, what do you call those moths. <laughs> All over. Anyway, um um um, they used to like you know like dress like blacks and all this stuff and um it was. You know, it was this. You know, like a, you know, it was sort of like people sort of shunned it, but it was cute in, in some people, you know. And um, so, but if blacks copied that same behavior, like you know, like it's like I know, like this one guy, he, he just like he was like his his white friend, and all at once was like became super black. And then the next thing I know, he's dressing like his white friend. I'm like, you know, and, and you know what I mean? Because like he's trying to look super black again because people are telling him, 
you know, that, oh, well, you got to talk this way, you got to walk this way, you got to do things like that, instead of it being self-evidence, pretty obvious, that being black is the hue of your color, the melon that you have in your skin, and you know, you know what I'm saying, and I get that, like, with the police, like, like, okay, like, the other guy, he's, like, sleeping on the, on the, on the, the other, the other, <laughs> that's good, he's sleeping on, on, the, on the bus, and I know he's fake sleeping right when I come in, because he moves his feet, like, to trip me, you know what I mean, try to get my attention, okay, then the, so then finally, like, 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 we come to, like, I'm, like, near the end of the, of the ride over here, come, like, to my stop on my block, right, and, uh, so he, just before that, he wakes up, and he goes, oh, you got pretty eyes, oh, you got pretty eyes, oh, you got pretty eyes, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, he doesn't said that shit, like, I mean, like, I'm, I'm kind of in my head, this, you know, okay, and then and he goes, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a friend, I'm like, I'm not, because he didn't comprehend that, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, what am I, what am I gonna do, ha be dating somebody with, on the bus line, that, that he's, and then he just tell me, oh, I take these side pills, it makes me sleep for my nerves all the time, I'm like, well then maybe it's not for you, that's all you do is go to sleep on it, that's all it is, you unconscious, you think you need to figure that shit out for yourself, but, but you know, he's full of shit, he's lying, cause he's too, you know, cause he wasn't asleep, he's faking, can I get your phone number? I'm like, I told you, uh, I'm trying to make no friends. Okay. Now, first of all, if I give, if I give, if you, if I give you my phone number and you call me, I'm like, who the fuck are you? Even if you tell me I met you on the bus, well, I seen a whole bunch of motherfuckers I met on the bus, so I wouldn't know who the fuck you are. He didn't introduce himself. The first clue that they're policemen. They don't have no self-respect. They don't do nothing, you know, proper. <laughs> anyway, so. but anyway, the Baltimore police are now. Anyway, I'm gonna get it back to Baltimore. I digress. Uh, um, the the police they're not policing. You know, um, and I, uh, if you correlate that with the, <laughs> they do that all the time, like, so they make a big announcement, they're not policing, so of course, you hear you have people that, you know, in a, in a capitalist society, if you don't get the, if you don't get the, the right start, the right beginning, you know, to be able to, be able to get a job to, to, to support yourself, even a lot of, the, a lot of criminals, they have jobs, they just can't afford, um, the, to buy food or they pay rent, or the electric bill, you know, or clothing, <laughs> you know, these things are very important to them, you know, of course, like, you see, like, oh, they have phones and all this, well, uh, you know, in our society where everybody has phones, in any way, so, but, so now the police, that's, you know, they're, we're not, we're, you know, we're scared of the American people, and, like, like, they're scared after, because, I don't know why they're scared of, because if, the problem was that you killed somebody, um, and you, it, the arrest was illegal uh, because they, you weren't arresting them for anything. You know, I mean, you said you found a pocket knife. The last I heard, pocket knives were legal. You know, if it could fit inside the palm of your hand. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't even know, like, if you have a gun. They always say don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You know that that under the assumption that you will get killed, you know, with if you have the knife. So you know the cops they have they have bulletproof vests, they have tanks, they have soft weapons, they got um, smoke bombs, they got uh, pressure grenades. Uh, you know they have all this stuff. They don't use their bully clubs or anything like that. You know, and you ever like you know what I'm saying like or anything. But anyway, they have a they have a whole arsenal of weapons. So, if they're, you know, if they're scared, and because their their procedures and their training is causing them to, to, to um, be petrified of the community, then, um, you know, maybe it's your training. Maybe you, maybe you're, you're you know, and, um, and, and frankly, I don't, I, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to make no new friends, you know, uh, and uh, um, and you think I can't get fucked up here in this Christian ass double biting hypocrite whoop your kids goddamn state? Please, that's all they do here. You don't know nothing about the politics. You don't know nothing about where your money is coming from, or or why you don't have your your health, and you're retired. But you but you do I bet but you do know how to watch X, X rated movies all day because that's what you think that's all adults do. Then that's all you talk about. You know, you think I, you think that's flattering? Oh, your dick got hard. 
looking at me, you think that's flattering? Shit. If I stab you, what, 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 what am I gonna bleed? So what, I, what do I care about how you feel? You obviously don't give a fuck about how anybody else feeling. Shit. Anyway, I'm like, this guy is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I, I just see our tax money that the way it's going with the police department. And one other thing, Baltimore, like in five years, they've had these outrageous suits where they had to pay out the money. So it's taxpayers' money. And if you think about it, the police are paying taxes too on their houses and too. So. You know, so you're, so you're not, you know, in a way, they are getting cut out of their pay, you know what I'm saying? But they get, anyway, their logic is that uh, unlogic, you know, the, the, the laws is nonsense now. I'm making a democracy out of it. Anyway, I, I, I totally, I totally get it why you don't, uh, why you're, you're, um, uh, why, uh, you don't have your health and, um, retirement money. It's because you're uh, you're not thinking about the politics behind. You're thinking like a kindergarten, and you know mammals. When you play a game, it's to learn. Like I played with uh, Polly Polly. You know we played hide and seek. Now she's really good at playing at doing hide and seek. It's been a great survival skill. So you know it, it, games that you it, playing as a child is not for he 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 giggles. There's how, that's how you mold. And have a child develop. That's why they, that you know, it's very important to go into structures, sports, for some kids, or some type of structure activity. They learn how to get along with other people. You know how to communicate. You know maybe uh, over long distance uh, uh, across the field using signals, sign language. They learn a lot of things. You know, and they stay healthy. You know during the sports, but that is. That is, you know, because I hear like, like, like those cops like talking about oh, play games. Yeah, I remember that. Like a bunch of old seventy sitcoms or uh, no, old black um, satire seventy movies. You know where the policeman is uh, the pimp <laughs> and the dope dealer, <laughs> like Superfly or whatever shit, whatever that is. Or you know uh, what was that one? Where he had the bird, you know, and he just hanged out with pimps, and he lived. He was like always looked real nasty and dirty. But anyway, I I, I didn't really watch TV. I got a glimpse of it. So, it's like that that show hadn't been on like when the lights went out again. So it was it in seventy two? Was it no, the whole city went black around there? So anyway, so. Our city's in a lot of trouble financially. I could just see that because they don't they they're not. They're not. They're not understanding um, why their money is 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 the way it is. It's, it's you know, it, it's it's simply. Um, it, I'm sure that if they um, actually wanted to do the work, I don't think it's just like they did a bike path, right? And the problem is that they're saying downtown that the people don't know how to make like a right turn because they have the bike lane. I've been like in Quebec, Montreal, where they have like a bus lane like that, and people still. I mean, I was like, wow. You know, they really hate it. You know, because <laughs> the people uh, they do not exercise here. They they tore up all these streets and and really tore up all the trees and everything, and tore up all the forests around this area. You know, because and black people are all for all these wide, wide, you know, big roads. It, the city is not made is not made for walking. You know, um, and it's like a certain stigma if you walk, whatever. Yeah, my ass ain't as white as that. It, none of those ladies I was in there, I was like, except for that one with the gun. And but I was like, she, yeah. even though like you know she was like in her twenties, you know, she was about my height, probably way less than me, because um, um, I, I like to me I'm way heavy, but you know, 130, 133 pounds, but uh, you know. I weigh and it's like and to me it's a little heavy. But she looked like about a about a hundred, hundred ten. So <laughs> she 
That'd be, she'd be like, try it. Like, the first thing that's gonna happen is you ain't gonna get to the gun. <laughs> I was like, I was like don't, don't, don't get an attitude because you got a gun, you know. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, especially if you got whooped and you think, well, no, you know. I'm like, it's like, it's like if you, if like if you, if you, if I, if I, because like sometimes I go in a square circle or a square. I'm like this motherfucker went in a exact circle with me. I don't know who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All I know is you, some crazy looking motherfucker that's you know made too many turns. The next turn you might make is like, and you, you know, you, they're lucky because I'm just look, I'm just checking the bitch out. I'm just checking them out because you step over the line. I don't know who the fuck you are. And simply don't, and, you, and it's not like you you got uh, any class or coop to you know introduce yourself as anything or anybody. So you can forget about that. So there's a whole class thing too, you know, where y'all done went, y'all done like retard your your growth to um, that of a uh, uh, anyway. I blame the schools. Uh, I blame the schools and I blame the politics that we have in the states for the reason why our cities are looking like this. And Memphis is, is on its way to being the Detroit because they need to file bankrupts as it is because the way they, the way how they spend their money and what they spend their money on, you know, all that propaganda and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? And like really, most of those motherfucking cops, they all six foot and all this fucking shit. So you think you're intimidating me? I know I'm high strung. I jump all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I make screaming noises all the motherfucking time. But I guess if if you've been whooped, you think that type of... Well, I noticed with the kids that got whooped, all of them, was, all, they, they petrified. They just take off running petrified. I'm more like, you know, high strung. Like the doctor always told me I'm high strung. Nowadays they got new things so the doctors could make money off of some of um pseudocals. They think I'm crazy like because I'm like, uh, some of that shit I ain't going to take. Why should I make the doctor rich? You know, and maybe not um, better. <laughs> you know, like oh, she crazy. <laughs> she, I was like, I was like, oh boy. Not everybody can be crazy just because they don't want to do shit like you. Because they, it's like not everybody want to be like you know. Don't take it as a compliment. Like you think I need to go get fuck you. Well, I don't know where that's a compliment at. I'm not from around here. Yeah, it's not a fucking compliment. Go fuck yourself. See? See, you like to hear that. Anyway, I see he's in a lot of fucking trouble. You know, because they don't know anything about finances. They know everything on how to tear things up. It's like a social a psychopath. You know? They, they, uh, uh, they do more harm. Intentionally. Uh, they, 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 they got that... Uh, um, uh, sneaky conniving, um, I guess you say that, that, um, I guess, you know, like where they just, that, that coward ass bullshit. But you never know, like, with the, with the, like, you never know when they're gonna just, they're always, you know, it, it, it's always somebody else. Their behavior is like with the police, for example, Baltimore. They killed the guy. But they want us to feel fucking sorry for them because now they fucking scared. Well, why are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that don't make no sense. If, if they're saying, "Oh well, you know, you know," or, or like, or, I don't understand why you're scared. Like, there had, how about that guy that ran from um, his troop in over in the, in the Middle East, and they they took the guy hostage, and then they they the other guys were saying, "Oh well," because he was saying the same thing the police was. He said he was scared and feared of his life, so they called him a coward. The definition of a coward is actually the cop. The police are using the exact word. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know where my glasses are right now. I was gonna pull up a dictionary. I do know where the dictionary is. Eh, I got two other big ones too, but pretty much scared. You know, and you, you're scared of the fight. You're scared that somebody's gonna hurt you. You got a gun. You got you got you got tanks. You got uh flash grenades, you got tear gas, you got rubber bullets, you got metal bullets, you know, you got all this stuff, and you're scared. Uh, a person, the only thing they got protecting against you is uh, the clothes that they have, or their skin. Anyway, 
<laughs> Memphis is going bankrupt. Uh, well, they probably just they'll just probably just take more money from the from the <laughs> the children from. The <laughs> no sense. No sense having these kids on. Uh, no, when they say um, the the South is ignorant, it's it's not by it's it's by design. It really is.